This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today is the day for which many of you have been waiting. Earlier this morning, over on CovertInstruments.com, we released the Turning Tool Expansion Pack for the Covert Companion. It's a product we worked really hard to make as simple and compact as it is, while at the same time being extremely functional. I'm going to take you through its features, then get to the main point of the video, which is showing you how to integrate these parts into your existing Covert Companion. The expansion pack includes four multifunction turning tools that ride in a quick deploy swing arm. That deployment is accomplished by pressing on this protrusion. At this point, the tools are still positively captured by the swing arm, which is important because you don't want them coming out by accident. Only by rotating this cover plate approximately 90 degrees will you be able to remove the turning tools. There are four different thicknesses, 25, 32, 40, and 50 thousandths of an inch, and each of those turning tools has three different tensioning options. We have short top of the keyway, long top of the keyway, and then we made this skinny enough that it can also act as a bottom of the keyway turner. Now as for how to integrate these parts into an existing covert companion, since the pack is the first thing that gets installed on the handle, if you're putting this on one that's already been assembled, unfortunately, you have to take it completely apart. Because of that, I am just going to start with a brand new Covert Companion and show you how it's done. Let's first inventory our expansion pack. Okay. We should have the two pieces of the swing arm, one with a bend and one with a small slot in it. Then we have the four turning tools in four different thicknesses. Then we have this bar that goes all the way across the handle, two rubber tension sleeves, and finally two threaded posts. If you actually save the parts that came with your covert companion, you won't need these. There should be eight extra of them already. But just in case you don't still have them, we included them in the pack. So let's get all of the other pieces out so we can put our covert companion together. I'm taking the two halves of the handle apart now. We're going to have to take all of the parts that are on it right now off until we get to the bottom base plate. And this is where we're going to start. The first piece to go on is the part of the swing arm that has a bend in it. Then on top of that, we're getting one of the tensioning sleeves. These are made of, out of rubber and should be snug. If that rubber sleeve doesn't meet at least the top of that post, try the other one. We included a couple of them because there's a little bit of variation in these as they came out of the machine. Then we're going to put the cover plate on top. Then we need to get the bar that reaches all the way across the handle. And we need to be careful to orient it such that that tab will touch in this little slot right here. We're going to hold all of that in position with one of these little threaded posts. Now we get to what is probably the most tricky part of the installation, and that is making sure that the two pieces of the swing arm are not pinched in between the two posts that we screw into place. The bar that reaches all the way across should be trapped. As we tighten these down, you should use a pair of pliers, but I need to caution you that these should be snug, but if you turn them too hard, you can and will break these posts. After you snug them down, give those swing arms a turn, they'll likely snap into position, and you can tighten the post down again. There we go, that's nice and snug. Let me snug this side down as well. Okay, that feels perfect. Let's open this up and insert our turning tools for the first time. I'm 
they should slide right on this tab. The cover snaps on and you'll notice this little tab will fit neatly into this little slot. If it doesn't fit into that, then you put the bar on incorrectly. Now we can put two more posts on that makes room for all of our covert companion tools. Once again, we're going to snug these down with pliers, being very careful not to over tighten them. I'm also going to find the two small screws and prepare the other half of the handle by putting them into position. You'll note there are small O-rings on each of them. Those O-rings are necessary. If you don't see them on the screws, find them in the expansion pack and put them into place. Okay, now we should be ready to start putting the rest of our tools on. Let's open up this pack of tools. And I'm also going to get a Bic pen and you'll see that helps us keep everything oriented correctly while we're putting them into position. I'm gonna start with the traveler hook. Then right on top of that, we'll go the knife tool. And we're gonna put a spacer. You can put these tools however you want, but what I'm showing now is the arrangement that I like. After the knife tool and the spacer, we're going to put all of the warded picks, each one followed by a spacer. Okay, this is the fifth and last warded pick. We will cover that with a spacer and then put one of the jigglers and another spacer. Once again, you can put this however you want, but this is my preferred arrangement. On the other side, we're going to start with a spacer then get the utility shim and the notch decoder and put them on right on top of it. Then we will get a spacer and start placing our comb picks. I like to put them in order, starting with the four tooth comb, a spacer, then the five, then the six, and then the thin six. that we're going to put our last two wafer jigglers each separated by a spacer and cap it off with a spacer then I'm going to get the other side I'm going to put my two rakes on there. And on the other side, I'm going to put a spacer and my two hooks. Can then take the top of the handle and holding everything in place, put it on top, after which we can tighten these screws down.
Okay, everything meshes together and our turning tool expansion pack works perfectly. Okay, folks, these expansion packs are available over on covertinstruments.com right now. So if it's something you're interested in, check out the link, which I will leave in the description below. But that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.